Thank you so much for tuning into our show. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. And we are Taking Up Tunes. Tunes, and you are now listening to the Road to Eurovision podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about who we think is going to represent Czechia in Eurovision 2024. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. The show was on Monday, and it was really good. It was fun. We've never seen the Czechia National Final show before. Yes. ESCZ. It, it was a lot of fun. They had seven entries. Mm-hmm. Some solid, some shaky, some shaky, but we're going to go over our predictions at the end of this episode. I'm excited to get into it. Checky has got some big shoes to fill because Vesna last year was amazing. Rocked it. Came in the top 10. Yes. It was actually one of my favorites early in the season. Like I was, I wanted Checky to win at one point. Yeah. I'm like, I think Checky is going to win this. So they got some big shoes to fill. Even the year before, We Are Dami did great. Yeah. I mean, they didn't place very high, which was surprising, but they made the grand final. They placed pretty low. Yeah. But we saw them perform yeah, at that, this national final. That was fun. That was fun, yeah. Close yeah. out the show. Yep. Uh, the show was at the Roxy. Yeah. And it was a smaller show. Yeah. It was it was nice to see a national final like this small compared to we've seen Melody Festival and right. before, which is a huge production. Right. But this was nice. So who were the seven contestants in it? Yeah, so the seven contestants, there was Aiko, Ellie, Gianna Lee, Lenny, Midi, Tom Sean, and Thomas Robin. Yes, it was a pretty pretty fun show. Yeah. I really liked- um, <laughs> Talk about the announcer. Oh, gosh. He, he, <laughs> he kind of set the tone for the show. <laughs> Definitely read off the teleprompter. It was funny. Yeah, he was funny. He seemed like he just was going to say whatever he wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the beginning, he's like- and I'm getting paid for this. Right. We're like, okay, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay. So, okay. After that, then there was like an opening number. From 2019. Yes. That's right. A friend of a friend of a friend, friend of a friend. friend right? Very, very catchy. Yeah. Very fun. I don't believe it placed very well. Did it even make the grand? It made the grand final. Okay. I, I made the grand final in 2019, but I don't think it placed all that well. Yeah. But I it think- It was fun to open the show with. It was. I was going to say, it was fun to open the show with that. And I think- as we watched it, we we're like, we don't think we really, re- really liked this one. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was pretty solid. So first on the stage, first on the stage was Iko. Iko opened the show. I really liked the interviews that they did. That was actually nice because we got like a good insight, a good feel for like who glimpse. they who they were, kind of like as people, but also as artists too. And we got to hear a little bit about each song, why they either chose it or wrote it. Some of them wrote their own songs. Why it was important to them. Yeah, so that was nice to get some insight about the song instead of just listening to the song and making your judgment or your first listen off of that. You kind of had a little bit of context. Yeah, right. So Iko, okay. Comes onto the stage, has a very specific appearance. You know, she has the yep. blue hair, yep. the makeup. Very, very confident. Very confident. Yep. Yes. I will say performance wise, because after we watched the show, we kind of went and checked out like the studio versions a little bit. Mm-hmm. I will say after the show. That song is catchy. The song is really Pedestal. catchy. I, and I think just during the live performance aspect of it, I think maybe the verses could have been a little bit stronger yeah but totally when we were so when we were watching it but i think the chorus was strong the chorus is strong and she's a good performer i feel like too if she does make it to eurovision the staging could be really cool yeah like i was totally. envisioning you know she is actually on a pedestal and then when she screams you know that yeah. whole part she was she totally a perfor- she was totally a performer that's for sure <laughs> a performer she knew how to yeah. perform the yep. song is catchy and i could hear like the crowd singing it back yeah so we'll have to see if we have that in our predictions i don't know in i don't our know top three i don't know your top three you I don't, don't know, know my top three. i know so we'll have to see if mm-hmm. either of us have Ico in our top three at the end of this episode but after Ico, we had ellie Ellie, yes. Ellie was wonderful. Yes. I thought Ellie was a great performer. Loved her personality in the interview. She felt very warm. Yeah. Very, just like a, like a nice person. She had like a nice round sound to her voice too. Mm-hmm. And there was like some really nice moments. I feel like it started off a little slow. Yeah. We're like, okay, but it. It I remember, built. I remember it like caught our attention right away though. Yeah. We're like, oh, okay. Like she right, started she, singing right away. She went right into it. Like, okay, this is sounding good. And then, like, yeah, it, it built really well. Like you said, by the end of it, it's like, this is right. a this is a really this solid entry. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think Ellie will do very well. I think she has a decent shot at representing Czechia. Yeah, I think so too. After that, we had Gianna Lee. Gianna Lee. Gianna Lee. Okay. In her interview, seemed very like kind of unsure. Well, in her interview, the interviewer even said. 
if you represent Eurovision. And she goes, oh, oh, I will. Yeah, I don't know if she was like serious or if she was just being like kind of fun, funny in the interview, you know? Yeah, but that came across as very confident. You it know? Did, it so, did. But as she talked about her song, though, because she did write it, mm -hmm. she was the songwriter on it. Yeah. She, was, she was talking about how it was so important to her about how it's kind of she wrote it like when she was like a really dark Starlet. spot and she needed like some light yeah it seemed like she was a little bit nervous definitely uh the stage performance yeah i think she was really nervous because the vocals lacked during that performance yeah totally overall it was not the best performance of the night mm -mm. so we'll also have to see if that's in our top three next up we have lenny 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 was lenny. great had her piano yep um the songwriting style and even like the little rasp to her voice definitely gave me cornelia vibes definitely in the beginning of the song too like the way she sang her notes like she kind of like did that little thing oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know but this song is all about um being good enough right am and i good enough am i good enough i am good enough i really like the lyrics i felt like everyone can resonate with that um you know, this it's a song contest after all, so the lyrics are definitely important. Very strong lyrics in yeah. this one. Yeah, and I thought she was a good performer. She had good stage presence. Yeah. I really liked when the band came in, too. Mm -hmm. It felt like complete. It felt maybe halfway through we were missing something. Yeah. And then the band came in and kind of brought it all together. I wish that band came in a little bit sooner. Earlier, yeah. But it was like, okay, the band's here. I was like, wow, this is great. Yeah. This is a really good song. I think Lenny has a shot. Lenny definitely has a shot. We'll have to see if she's in our top three. All right, moving on. Mitty. 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 Mitty was great. Okay, Mitty was great. I don't know if you could tell, but my attitude changed right away. <laughs> um, the song was Red Flag Parade. And I just feel like this performance as a whole definitely had like a... A theme to it. A theme to it, exactly. Concept. Yes. Totally had the concept, the staging. The, the outfits. The outfits. The right. marching band. Right. Like Everything. the song itself, her red hair. Like it was just, it was polished. Yes, it was. And for this just being national final, it could even be more evolved if it went to Eurovision. Yeah, it felt like a Eurovision entry. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. When we saw like the entire thing as a whole. Great performers, yeah. great band. It was and, like, okay, this is great. Yeah, it sounded like in the interview as well, the interviewer was saying, you tour, even right. internationally. So they're definitely well-known, Yeah, probably have a lot of fans. We don't know. We don't know this band, Mitty. Yeah, we don't but, know any of these artists. But I feel like they could have a really, really good shot it, to representing Czechia. It felt like a Eurovision song. Yeah. It totally did when we heard it. It mm -hmm. was like, okay. Yeah, I like this. It was lot. catchy. All right, moving on to Tom Sean. Tom Sean. <laughs> Tom oh. Sean. Why did I say it like that? Tom Sean. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> he seemed like a funny guy in his interview. Yeah, like he was doing his dance moves. Right. And he was, you know, bantering back with the interview. Yeah. What did he say? He, he was all, like, "It's my techno dance." Oh yeah, and he's like, tut, tut. <laughs> "He's like, all right, this guy's kind of fun. He's got yeah. a fun vibe to him." Again, another songwriter in the contest. Right. I don't know. Dripping who... sweat, sweet like teriyaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember after we listened to it, I was like, I feel like that song had a lot of potential to it. There was just some things that needed to be changed. Yeah. As far as like the performance. Some of the lyrics. Yeah, definitely things needed to be changed. Like in the lyrics itself, it was like, I don't or I don't know what it said even. Um, Ain't no sleep. Ain't got no I can't sleep. I at don't want to sleep like at that. all. And the dancers are like sleeping yeah. on him. It's like, <laughs> okay, that should be tweaked. Yeah. Like there was just minor things throughout the whole performance and the song as a whole that could have been changed. And I think it could have been pretty decent, actually. Yeah. Um the song didn't really focus on like he didn't have any big you know, big moments, big vocal moments. Right. And the interviewer kind of hint hinted on that, too. Yeah. That, you know, you have your low notes. Right. And it was just really beat heavy. It was. It was. The beat was decent. We'll have to see if Tom is in our top three. We'll have to see if he makes it to Eurovision. And then rounding out the show was Thomas Robin. Yes. Which, okay. Another thing I mentioned when we watched this, I think it would have been cool to have two singers because the between the verses and the chorus in this song. They were like so drastic, the changes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you had another singer like doing one of those styles, it could have been cool. They could have played off of each other. Yeah, the verse and the chorus. Yeah. Felt like almost two different. Two different genres almost. Yeah. Like two different songs. Thomas definitely gave it his all. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, he was feeling it. Yeah. You know? He was, he was feeling it. He had the passion. He was he, into it. He put it all out there. I mean, yeah. 
just I think if there, there was another singer in there, I think that would have been really cool. Yeah. Two of them going back and forth. And I didn't mention this, but I want to. In the beginning, I don't know how many had backup dancers, but I really, I didn't feel like any of the uh, singers needed those backup dancers. Yeah, I didn't think so either. And I even thought like maybe it's just because the stage is so small, there's really nowhere for them to go, you know? Yeah. But yeah, but I feel you would like... think you would think it would be opposite, right? Like at the Eurovision stage, it's like, oh, the stage is so big, I need to fill it, I need dancers. Oh right. Instead of having this small stage, right. I feel like it would have been. It felt too crowded. It felt too crowded, yeah. Or I don't know. There's a disconnect between the song and the dancers, and mm-hmm. I don't know if the dancers aren't spot on. Right. Then it's just it like just feels they don't need to be sloppy. there. I don't know. Yeah, I feel you. All right, so that's the seven that participated in the national final for Czechia. Yes. Should we go over our top three? Let's go over our top three. All right. Who do you have at three? Uh, three. It's so hard for me because- It was kind of hard between, between three and four. Two artists, yes. Mm-hmm. At third, I have- Oh, and it's so hard because for me, it's between Lenny or it's between Iko. It is tough. And they're two completely different songs. Yep. It's it's what what do you, oh, what's the vibe you want to go for? Because There's like Lenny a... has great lyrics, mm-hmm. which is important for the song contest. Yep. I love the piano, love the rasp in her voice. And then Aiko had a really cool style about her. She has that kind of edge and that yeah. I mean, I know there's like, there's really like, it has a good beat. That pedestal song, you remember it. It's yeah. memorable. There's like really like four of them that I think have a really good shot. Yeah. And so, so what do you think for three? I think, but see with Aiko, I didn't love the dancers. So I would definitely want to change the staging. Okay. I will say this for Aiko. Aiko is my top three. Okay. That's my third. Yeah. And reason being, I wasn't like a huge fan of the performance. I liked the energy. I liked that she, you know, went out there and performed mm-hmm. but after i heard like the studio version a little bit i'm like this song is really good yeah so it's like ugh, song ugh. i do like the song a lot i know so all right we'll split it i'll say lenny you'll say i go yeah i got echo at three okay i'll have lenny at three okay even though i go is like right there it's like slashed Three is Ico for me and someone else, but I'm not going to say because we're going to... Ooh, okay. We'll reveal that at number two. Who do you have at number two? At number two, I have Ellie. Ellie. I do. I thought the song was strong. She had a good presence about her, good energy. I think she has a good shot. She does have a good shot. You're going to be surprised when I say this. I have Lenny at number two. Okay. Ico and then Lenny. Yeah, I think, ly- think lyric-wise... I think Lenny has a really good shot. Mm-hmm. If my num- I love if, the song. I agree. Yeah, the song's really good. If my number one does not represent Czechia, I think it's Lenny. Okay. I, th- I really do. I think she was really strong. And yeah. Really good with the piano and the lyrics were really good. Yeah. I think it's between her and my number one. Okay. At number one, Mitty. Mitty. Has yeah. to be Mitty. It's got to be Mitty. Oh, I-, I think Mitty. The crowd was hype. Yeah. And the song. It, it, it had that Eurovision energy. Yes, totally. Like it just felt like Eurovision. I can't I say like, I can't say that enough. I feel like Midi would represent Czechia well, and I could see it for Eurovision. I could see know? it for Eurovision for yeah. sure. And if they don't, you know, there is a chance they don't represent for Eurovision. I think it's Lenny. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking. And you're thinking it's Ellie. I think it's Ellie. Yeah. Okay. But number one, Midi. Number one, it's Midi. Yes. So we'll have to find out in just a few short days. Oh, the anticipation is just killing us. I know. Let us know who you think is going to represent Czechia in Eurovision 2024. Yes, Eurovision season is officially here and we're super excited. We can't wait to hear from you and to hear your thoughts. We're checking out all the national finals start to finish. We're following it the entire season over on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash tktoptoons. We're going to have the full uncut reactions to all the national finals over there. Yes. All the semifinals. And of course, the grand final, Eurovision 2024. And there's a ton of other grand finals over there. Albania is coming up next. Yes, Albania in a few weeks. And if you want to listen to this podcast on the go, go give us a follow on Spotify, the Road to Eurovision podcast, and listen to it on the go. Yes. Peace and love, everyone. We're here every (laughs) single Thursday. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. See ya. Bye.